Well, we can't wait to get started with an incredible magician who also hosted Discovery Channel's hit show, Breaking Magic. Yeah, he's got a new memoir coming out called Here is Real Magic. And he's going to wow us with some of it right here in person. Please welcome Nate Stanforth is here. Yeah. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for being here. Yeah, of Thank course. Thanks for having me. Yeah, All I right. I feel like we should have just had you appear. I'm working on that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next year, I'll come back. Next year, he's going to come back and not Smoke. appear. I yeah. love it. Later. So how did you get involved with magic? I had been driving across the country from a meeting in New York to a show in Seattle for the past three weeks. And like every great road trip, not everything has gone according to plan. No. Oh, man. God. That is not what you want to see out of your engine. Fuck. Uh, so here's the bad news. The engine has overheated, and the other bad news is that I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, here, look. According to this, very helpful booklet, the uh, Honda Owner's Manual. I am now supposed to refill the radiator with coolant. But if... Uh, if you can imagine, um, I, I don't carry spare coolant in the car, do you? Brought, just because I knew I'd be driving through the desert, a gallon of water. Where does this fucking go? In the uh, owner's manual, it cautioned me not to scold myself here, which is like the least helpful advice you could possibly give. The question now is whether or not it's actually going to start when I turn the key. There we go. God, I am so hot. It is, uh, it's like an oven out here. I'm gonna let it just run for a minute before I start driving. I'm a little gun shy because I'm so far away from anything. Okay, it's time to see if this can go. When I left on this trip, I thought I was looking for ideas, so I spoke with some of my favorite magicians along the way to learn about their work. But now that I'm at the end of it, I think what I was actually looking for is this, and this, and this. It's easy to get stuck as an artist, to be so sure you're right that you never look out beyond your own certainties. And if travel and magic share anything in common, it's their ability to jolt you and shake you and drag you out of your house and say, wake up and look around you. There's more to it than that. I saw that there's this little side road that, that just you know, pulled off the highway. And so I stopped and, and uh, got out to have a look. I want you to see this. The goal isn't ever just to show them a card trick. It's to use the card trick to give them this and this, and this. But these are all just words with piano music in the background, unless you can find a way to put it in the work. And so as much as I like driving across the country, it's time for me, finally, to arrive in Seattle.
This is my first show in Seattle, ever. So I don't know what to expect tonight. You know, it could be completely full, it could be just a few people. So here's a, a problem that's just come up. I was out on stage writing out the set list for the show tonight and I sat down in this chair, but someone had spilled, I think it was beer, and just saturated the cushion. And so I have on my only pair of pants here, look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a giant... <laughs> there's a giant wet mark. Uh, this is just, just what I needed right now. This is the sort of problem I want to be solving 45 minutes before the audience shows up. Uh, I'm gonna go find a hairdryer. There's not a good reason, there's not a logical reason to be a magician. Um, no one does it because it's the, the rational path to success. The only people who do magic do it because they love it. And they love something in it that they can't find anywhere else. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, so let's see how the, the pants blowing operation is going. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous problem I've had to solve backstage in, in uh, quite some time. You can say something with a piece of magic that's hard to say any other way. and. If I didn't think it was important, I wouldn't be here, but I do. And I don't have a better way of doing it, so this is the best I've got right now. I'm telling you, I'm very suspicious of show business. I like the magic, but this is ridiculous. Okay, showtime. Wish me luck.